Hello beautiful ones. Um, so in this video today, I would like to talk a little bit about us uh, being like children, um, loving our inner child, uh, understanding our inner child, being compassionate with our inner child. And um, um, a memory trigger that uh, wanting to might wanting to do this video today and um, it was uh, some years ago when a good friend told me that uh, the inner child is not about being silly and my personal opinion is that oh yeah the inner child is totally about being silly yeah because um, when you being silly like that child within you you're dancing like that silly child you're acting like that silly child um, you're you're doing things that remind you of that inner silly child then you're being more joyful you you've opened up your doors to the universe saying uh, bring me more joy in my life bring me more purity in my life because the, the the child within us is purity is um is um the beauty of of this life and living and it's it's so important to embrace that divinity within us it's like that um oh, every one of us has that inner child um, we were all children and we we are pure all we are all pure we've, we've done nothing bad actually and um, so that child within is the remembrance of that seed of purity that we all have inside us and there's nothing bad in connecting with your inner child and being silly and uh, because uh, that is giving you the opportunity to be more joyful and that is so powerful and personally I like acting like a child um, with my friends with my family even at work sometimes in the past I've done that but it's at work I feel it's even it's even more necessary and important to do so because when you're working in an office with many people where you're like you have these walls and barriers and like oh I have to be professional and all this stuff and and um, of course um, being professional is very important but um, there are times when you are at breaks with your colleagues that it's uh, really so important to um, to be in touch with your inner child and um, to really uh, be able to break those those walls and those barriers uh, with others and connect on a on a on a deeper level and on a more significant level um, the inner child um, as I said it's purity is beauty is um, um, that spark within us that we always have and we we all have and we always have there for us and the more we connect with that spark um, and the more um, we feel joy about life the more we are sending our signals to the universe you know what I want more of this I want more joy in my life and um, also another very important uh, aspect of being uh, in, in, in connection with your inner child is, is love. You become love. Christ-like consciousness um, is being love and uh, sending this love to everyone. And another thing is that when you're, you're treating your inner child beautifully, you're actually reparenting yourself you you're you're being the parent of yourself anew and you're teaching your um your child within 
new ways to connect with people and life which we we haven't been taught because of the conditioning of the society uh, because uh, our 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 parents didn't didn't know any better so yeah I feel it's very important honestly now I'm gonna show you um, a card I drew a card from uh, the Keepers of the Light Oracle card by Kyle Gray uh, for the collective consciousness and what's the advice with that we need to know today um, I will show you the card that is the card that it, it actually flipped over while I was shuffling and I said yeah that's the message we need to have for today and it's uh, Lord Shiva transcendence and it says rise up honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe uh, so he's um, third eyes wide open the crescent moon of course is showing psychic abilities for the whole collective um, increasing um, the, the ego is represented by the snake around his neck and so that means that we are taming the ego on a collective level which is really important and it's talking about transcendence um, I will read you from the book uh, what is the message here let me quickly find it so um, okay there we go so it says Shiva is one of India's trinity of male good god figures. He is depicted wearing a cobra around his neck, representing his capacity to tame fear or the ego, surrounded by stars, showing his connection to the cosmos and holding a trident, acknowledging the aspect of divine masculine power in India. Just give me a sec here. All right. Um, the, the, the aspect of the divine masculine power in India creator, preserver and destroyer he's known as the destroyer because of his warrior like energy and the ability to destroy fear he's a facet of the divine father energy and offers patern paternal protection support and guidance he's also acknowledged as a cosmic dancer because he helps coordinate the interaction between earth and the cosmos he has the capacity to help us move beyond the fear of failure and into clarity and connection. And it has another message that says, extended message, and it says, Lord Shiva is with you right now to awaken your sense of connection to life itself. You are moving through a, dr uh, through a deep transition and things will be clearer from this point. You'll know exactly what you need to do and where you need to be. This is a powerful time. As you will transcend the limitations of the, uh, the limitations, sorry, that others have set for you, it is a time of innovation, ideas, stargazing, soul traveling, and soul revealing. Shiva, the Lord of Dance, is here with his sacred sound of Om to lead the way. So I'm feeling that um, the collect the collective consciousness and. Um, the collective energies are really directed into a more um, loving um, realm and um, that um, as a collective now we are ready to move forward with determination um, transcending our old uh, patterns, belief systems and programmings and conditioning from society that have kept us so far and so we are ready for this new beginning for this new year and uh, m lots of us are stepping into mission so thank you very much for watching um, I will talk to you soon I uh, wish the best and want the best for everyone. I send you my love and uh, take care, beautiful ones. Thank you. Bye-bye.